We all know that proper vehicle maintenance is the only way to preserve the lifespan and reliability of your vehicle and its drivetrain. But maybe one of the most overlooked and important pieces of properly maintaining your vehicle is proper tire maintenance. That's a lot of peas, but that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. What's going on guys and welcome back to Fitment Industries Garage. I'm Sean, SeanB.fi on Instagram. And before we jump right in, I gotta remind you sneaky little goobers to subscribe. And if calling you names doesn't help, here's me to remind you again. Hi me. And of course, don't forget to head over to FitmentIndustries.com, the most comprehensive store for any and all of your wheel, tire, and suspension needs. Let's get started. Tire maintenance is extremely important. And when it comes to tire maintenance, the biggest factor in getting the most lifespan, safety, and performance out of your tires is having the correct friggin' tire pressure. Tires that are not at the correct air pressure can have huge negative effects on your vehicle in all sorts of different ways. An overinflated tire can cause uneven wear and negatively affect its handling characteristics, especially in an emergency situation. So not only are you ruining your tire, you're also putting yourself and the people around you at risk. Not to mention that an underinflated tire will do the same thing. It's also going to increase the rolling resistance or drag of your tires, and it's going to negatively affect your vehicle's efficiency as well. So then why is this such a commonly overlooked aspect of vehicle maintenance? Well, it seems to come down to proper education about proper inflation. That's the issue. The majority of non-automotive enthusiasts that I've talked to about this often they inflate their tires to the max PSI listed on the side of their tires because they have confused max PSI the tire can safely hold with max PSI for even wear. Inflating your vehicle's tire pressure to the max PSI it can hold is gonna cause heavy premature wear down the center of the tread, which is arguably the most important part. The other thing people often overlook is that you should be doing basic checkups on your car during fuel fill-ups. Check your oil level and check your friggin' tire pressures. Checking your tire pressures on a regular basis can and will help you get the most out of your tires while simultaneously giving you signs of any issues as they come up. Catching an issue early is detrimental to making sure you get the most out of your tires that you spent your hard earned money on. Nothing sucks more than being forced to buy a new set of tires sooner than expected. It's a big expense and it should be treated as such. Now, there are a few different ways to identify issues that can lead to premature wear. Outside of checking your tire pressures, you can visually tell if your tires are experiencing either overinflation or underinflation by monitoring how your tires are wearing. If the inside or middle of the tread is showing more wear than the outer portions, this is a good sign that your tires are actually overinflated and that you should adjust them down by just a few PSI. If the outside portion of the tread is showing more wear than the center, there's a good chance that your tires are underinflated and you should adjust those up a little bit. And then if just the innermost tread blocks are showing wear, there's a good chance that your alignment is in need of some adjustment. Usually this can be attributed to camber wear and on most modern cars, this is adjustable and can be taken care of just by going in for a simple alignment. Inside wear can also be attributed to toe out alignment. And then if just the outer portion of the tire is seeing extra wear, there's a good chance that your vehicle is experiencing toe in wear, which can also be adjusted out with an alignment. From there, if you're starting to notice any choppy wear on any of your tires, that's a sign of suspension failure. What happens is that when your shocks begin to fail, the suspension forces are transmitted into just the spring and have reduced damping, meaning it will bounce the tire and eventually develop a rhythm, creating low and high spots. Now, if you can't visually see these low and high spots, you can just rub your hand up and over the inside of your tire and you'll be able to feel it if it's there. All of these things can contribute to unnecessary spending, reducing your safety on the road, and severely increasing your risk of an accident in an emergency situation. Tire maintenance is extremely basic and extremely easy to do. So please read your owner's manual, do some research and keep your tires in check. I hope this video was helpful and let me know in the comments what you guys do to keep your tires lasting longer. If you need new tires or simply want to upgrade, head over to fitmentindustries.com to browse the most comprehensive wheel, tire, and suspension store in the whole friggin' world. I'm Sean from Fitment Industries, Sean B.fi on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.